The American Museum of Natural History ready to open a new wing after years of construction and some opposition from its Upper West Side neighbors upset over losing park space. Well, today we got an inside look at what the nearly half billion dollar extension offers. Here's meteorologist Brittany Bell. As soon as you walk in, the unique architecture of the Gilder Center captivates your attention. Certainly the design, uh, you feel like you are coming into a natural space, a cave or a cavern, uh, but at the same time is very light filled and airy. Uh, that is both uh, reflective of the natural world, but and also encourages folks to wander and discover. There are interactive touchscreens bringing more of these insects to life. On the second floor, you can get up close and personal with about 80 different species of butterflies and the butterfly vivarium. The museum previously had a vivarium, but it was only seasonal. This one will be open year round. The butterflies are flying all around. We want it to be a very immersive experience. So people come in. It's a chance to get close to the butterflies to really be able to interact with insects. Uh, so on a personal level, the butterflies thrive in a warm and humid environment. So get ready for a big temperature change as soon as you step inside. So it feels like um, New York in August in here. It is steamy. It's about 75% humidity in here and it's warm. The butterflies are very active in this environment. Invisible Worlds is located on the third floor. It's a 360 degree immersive experience that shows you life on Earth all the way down to a cellular level. There are also 18 new and renovated classrooms all to help continue education beyond the museum. There also are classrooms dedicated to workforce preparation and career planning for students. And so introducing high school students to the types of STEM skills that they'll need for transition into jobs of the future. Also just outside the Gilter Center, NYC Parks is working with the museum to update various parts of Theodore Roosevelt Park. Those updates include different seating areas and planting new trees and shrubs. We'll be seeing those renovations ongoing throughout the rest of the spring.